So what's it like having the first title defense coming up on this reign of the belt? Yeah, uh, it feels good, you know. Um, I just want to be in this position as, as long as I can, you know, defend the belt, hold, uh, hold it. So right now, um, I feel good. Does it make it more difficult or is it easier for you having to prepare for the opponent that you've already fought? Um, it's kind of the same thing, you know. I've, I've, I've prepared for him before. Um, I know his style of fighting. I've watched film on him before. So it's kind of the same thing, you know. But we we're, we're, might, might expect different things from him as far as his, his strategy um, coming out in, in this fight. He was saying all he has to do is avoid your elbows this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think that was really a difference maker for him? Um, you know, if he just avoids the elbows, I mean, I got more tools, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not just elbows. But... Um, um, that that made the the you know the, the first fight you know the, was the elbows, but hey, I mean that that's what I decided to do. You know, I got the takedown, decided to throw elbows, and and it worked. So, but um, you know, I'm a mixed martial artist. I do everything, so uh, he just doesn't have to worry about the elbows. He has to worry about everything else. The wrestling obviously is a major part of the style of fighting that you bring to the table, and how you were also able to dominate JDS in the last fight. What do you think uh, as far as your wrestling? How able he might be to be able to defend some of your takedowns at all? Um, you know, we're it's, it's it's a thing of you know we're expecting people to defend takedowns. You know, it's a thing that hey, everybody's doing it now. Everybody's so good at and not just the wrestling, but you know everything. So. You know, when that happens, I mean, it's a thing of kind of like like chain fighting where we're trying to take downs. You know, they, we, it doesn't work, but hey, you know, we use them as kind of setups now it's for, for the punches and kicks. So that's what, you know, I think my style of fighting is. Um, you have Daniel Cormier, obviously, in camp, and he's here now in the UFC. Uh, I never heard a statement out of Daniel as far as whether or not he'll move to avoid fighting you or if that's going to happen or not. What are your thoughts on the situation? Um, I think he said that yeah, maybe one more fight in uh, in the heavyweight division, and then he'll, he'll think about going down. So, um, you know, I think that's what he's going to do, yeah. It must be really difficult with the things that you guys do with together at AKA, you know, being a brother almost to each other to have to think about even fighting each other, correct? Uh, we won't we won't fight each other, no. You know, it's, uh, yeah, you know, he's uh, not just my teammate, he's my, my coach, you know, a friend. So, you know, we're always looking out for each other, trying to get each other better. You know, we want each other to succeed in the sport and uh, we're not going to fight each other. <laughs> Last one for me, just basically, um, with this reign of the belt that you have going on, you've said that you want to hold on to the belt as long long as possible obviously what would be the difference maker for you this time around in order to I guess go through the different fights and be able to stay at the high level to hold on to it just learning from from from, from old fights you know from, from previous fights that I've had um, just just knowing what it feels like to lose you know not a good feeling I don't want to be in that, in that spot anymore so you know that's my that's the reason why I'm going into these fights now you know hungry even though I do have the belt thank you Bigfoot, now that you're uh, challenging for this title, is it harder or is it easier to prepare for Kane the second time around? Agora que você vai lutar com quem pelo título, é mais difícil ou mais fácil se preparar para essa revanche? No, every fight with Kane is tough. You know it's hard because he's a, a very good fighter. He's a complete fighter. But I train very hard too. You no, know, I'm very well prepared and. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to win this well. You said that you haven't changed much in your training this time around. Uh, you said you're just going to try to stay away from the elbows. What did we not see in the last fight that you're going to bring to the table? Você treinou, uma, disse que treinou mais ou menos o que você treinou pela primeira luta e que você evitaria o, os, os cotovelados. O que, que nós vamos ver dessa vez? Ah... Uh... You're gonna see the, the best uh, Bigfoot, more prepared, more relaxing. You no, know, uh, because now I don't have uh, pressure, emotion. I have two fights, uh, three fights on UFC, and now I'm more relaxing. If we go, the guys are gonna do the best uh, Bigfoot. Oh. So the first time maybe was octagon jitters. A primeira foi aquela aquela síndrome da, da do octagon, né? A primeira luta do octagon. Yeah, because you know UFC is a big show, the the main fans, and uh, I'm very nervous in the, the first fight, but now I'm very well relaxed. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.